Welcome to Pharmacomania. Today's topic of discussion is Pharmacology of Adrenergic System. Now, classification of adrenergic drug according to the action. First one is the directly acting, directly acting, indirectly acting, and mixed acting. First is the directly acting drug directly act to the, on the receptor and act like natural neurotransmitter. Second one is the indirectly acting, which is just, which does not bind with the receptor, but increase the release of the uh, neurotransmitter and enhance the action. Second is the uptake inhibitor, which in, uh, inhibit the reuptake of the uh, neuronal as well as uh, external transmission, external reuptake of the neurotransmitter. So increase the concentration of the neurotransmitter uh, at the site of the action. Third one is the MAO inhibitor, which is the monoamine oxidase inhibitor, which degrade the uh, neurotransmitter. So inhibitor causes increase the lifespan of the neurotransmitter at the site of action. Fourth one is the COPT inhibitor. It is the critical o transferase. Also degrade the neurotransmitter and its inhibitor causes increase the lifespan of the neurotransmitter at the site of action. Third is the mixed action. Mixed acting drug are directly act on the receptor as well as act on the neuron to release transmitters. This mixed acting drug having two both of these actions. So it called mixed transmitter. So these are the various group of the drug directly acting, directly act to the, on the receptors, indirectly acting which is increase the release of neurotransmitter or mixed drug is the both in enhance the release of the neurotransmitter as well as act on the receptors. This is the classification of adrenergic agonist directly acting drug are selectively act on the alpha receptor. Alpha 1 receptor is phenylephrine, alpha 2 receptor is clonidine, beta 1 is dobutamine and beta 2 is dobutamine. Non-selective drugs are alpha 1 as well as alpha 2 oxymetazoline, beta 1, beta 2 is isop um, isoproteinol, alpha 1, alpha 2, beta 1, beta 2 is epinephrine and alpha 1, alpha 2 and beta 1 is norepinephrine. Now, indirectly acting drug are releasing agents are amphetamine and tyramine which increase the release of neurotransmitter. Uptake inhibitor like neuronal uptake inhibitor is the cocaine. Third is the MAO inhibitor is salicylate and COMT inhibitor is entacapone. Now, mixed drug, mixed acting drug is ephedrine. Ephedrine uh, act on the alpha 1, alpha 2, beta 1 and beta 2 agents and response increase uh, reduced by the prior treatment with the rezepine and guanethidine. Now the classification of adrenergic drug according to indication. So first is the pressure agent, cardiac stimulant, bronchodilator, nasal consistent, CNS stimulant, anorectic drug and uterine reduction. These are the indication for the adrenergic drug. First is the pressure agent. Drugs are noradrenaline, ephedrine, dopamine, phenylephrine, methoxamine, and mephedramine. These are the pressure agent which causes increase the blood pressure. Second one is the cardiac stimulant, adrenaline, isoprenaline, and dopamine. These all drugs stimulate the heart by beta 1 receptor. Bronchodilator. This action produced by the stimulation of the beta 2 receptor. These all drugs act on the beta 2 receptor like isoprenaline, salbutamol, tabetaline, salmeterol, formeterol and bombuterol. These all drugs stimulate beta 2 receptor and act by bronchodilatation. Nasal consistent act on the alpha 1 receptor, xylometazoline, oxymetazoline, nefazoline, phenylephrine and pseudoephedrine. These are the nasal decongestion, CNS stimulant are the amphetamine, dexamphetamine, methamphetamine and methylphenidate. Fourth one is the uterine relaxant are retodril, asusuprine, salbutamol and tabutane. These are the uterine muscle relaxant and fourth and last group is the anorectic group is the amphetamine, fenfluramine and sibutamine. These are the anorectic group. 
So now catechol group and non-catecholamine group. So first is the catecholamine nucleus is present in the catecholamine group. Catecholamine nucleus is absent in the non-catecholamine group. Cannot be given orally. Catecholamine hydrolyzed by the enzyme, so it is not given orally. When non-catecholamine group can be given orally, short duration of action and metabolized by monoamine oxidase NCMT enzyme and oral uh, this non-catecholamine uh, longer duration of action. Uh, Neurotransmitter catecholamine cannot cross blood brain barrier on CNS when non-catecholamine can cross the blood brain barrier and on the CNS. Catecholamine are directly acting when non-catecholamine are directly as well as indirectly and mixed acting drug. So actions of the various receptors. So first one is the on heart. Sinoatrial node beta 1 receptor are present increase heart rate. On atria, beta 1 receptor are present. It is increase the contractility and conduction velocity. Atrioventricular node beta 1 receptor present increase automaticity and conduction velocity. His Purkinje system beta 1 receptor it is increase the automaticity and conduction velocity. On ventricle beta also beta 1 receptor is present increase the contractility velocity and automaticity increase idioventricular path. So in heart only beta 1 receptor is present causes increased heart rate and great contraction of the heart increase automaticity and increase conduction velocity. Effect on various blood vessels alpha 1, alpha 2 and beta 2 receptor are present due to alpha 1 and alpha 2 receptor was a constriction occur and due to beta 2 receptor was a dilatation occur on the various blood vessels. Comparative effect of intravenous infusion of adrenaline, noradrenaline and isoptenaline on the heart rate. Uh, beta 1 receptor are present on the heart. So, stimulation of the beta 1 receptor causes increase in heart rate due to adrenaline and isoptenaline. But due to noradrenaline, there will be reflex bradycardia occurring following heart rate. Cardiac output due to stimulation of the beta 1 receptor, there is increase in cardiac output due to adrenaline and isoprenaline, but no effect due to noradrenaline. On blood pressure, systolic, uh, it depend blood pressure, uh, vasoconstriction occur due to alpha 1 and alpha 2 receptor, and vasodilatation occur due to the beta 2 receptor. So, in <coughs> Systolic blood pressure increase uh, both uh, adrenaline, noradrenaline, and isoprenaline causes systolic blood pressure due to increase the cardiac output through beta 1 receptor and dilatation occur uh, due to vasoconstriction occur due to adrenaline uh, and isoprenaline. So, fall in diastolic blood pressure, but no fall in the noradrenaline because there is no stimulation of the beta 2 receptor. Mean blood pressure is rise in 3 or 4. Uh, now blood flow in the skin and mucous membrane decreases and skeletal muscle increases blood flow in adrenaline, decrease in noradrenaline and increase in isoprenaline. Kidney uh, decrease blood flow, adrenaline and noradrenaline. Liver increases blood flow and, and coronary vessels increase in blood flow. Bronchial muscles uh, relaxation of bronchial muscle due to adrenaline and isoprenaline due to beta 2 receptor stimulation. Beta 2 receptor are present at the bronchi and relaxation of the smooth muscle of the bronchioles. So, uh, bronchodilatation occur and uh, there is no uh, stimulation of the beta 2 receptor due to noradrenaline and there will be no response due to noradrenaline. Intestinal muscles decrease peristalsis um, and uh, sphincter are. Uh, increase the turn of the sphincter, so uh, decrease peristalsis due to 3 or 4. Blood sugar level is increased due to gluconeogenolysis uh, in muscle and liver. Motor reversal of tail. In the uh, rapid injection of adrenaline causes rise in blood pressure due to activation of alpha 1 receptor causes vasoconstriction occur and rise in blood pressure. Within few minutes, uh, reuptake of adrenaline or dissipation of the adrenaline causes fall in blood pressure is at lower concentration. It doesn't act on the alpha receptor, but lower uh, uh, concentration, the beta receptor are sensitive to lower concentration and fall of the, fall of the blood pressure can see due to vasodilatation due to beta 2 receptor and fall 
can say this is the normal response if we are adding pentolamine or alpha blocker prior to the adrenaline alpha blocker prior to adrenaline injection then these rise blood rise of the blood pressure cannot seen only fall of the blood pressure can seen due to beta 2 receptor and this phenomena is called real vasomotor phenomena responses of effector organ to adrenergic system so on i the radial muscle of the pupil or iris and the receptor are present alpha 1 receptor are present causes contraction of the muscle and contraction of the that muscle causes mitosis occur ciliary muscle beta 2 receptors are present and relaxation of the pharmacin lacrimal gland alpha receptors are present and secretion stimulated this is the pupil and this is the this is the circular muscle and this is radial muscle circular on circular muscle in three receptor are present and on radial muscle alpha 1 receptors are present when uh, stimulation of the alpha 1 receptor causes contraction of this radial muscle this is the contraction of the radial muscle and causes mitosis occur so effect on the lung the tracheal and bronchial smooth muscle beta 2 receptor are present and relaxation of the relaxation of the bronchial smooth muscle bronchial glands alpha 1 and alpha 2 receptor are present and decrease or increase secretion of the bronchial gland urinary bladder detrusor muscle beta 2 receptors are present on the detrusor muscle so relaxation of the detrusor muscle but trigon and sphincter alpha 1 receptor are present on the sphincter of the trigon and contraction of the uh, sphincter causes um, the retention of urine in stomach motility and tone alpha 1 alpha 2 beta 1 and beta 2 receptors are present so decrease in motility sphincters of the GI tract alpha 1 receptors are present and contraction of the sphincter can occur secretion alpha 2 receptors are present in the um, stomach in, in the, on the gland and it inhibit the secretion intestine intestinal motility and tone alpha 1 alpha 2 beta 1 beta 2 receptors are present and decrease intestinal motility and sphincter alpha 1 receptors are present and contraction of the sphincter secretion also inhibited so ultimately constipation can occur alpha 1 receptors are present on male uh, sex organs so ejaculation is uh, happen on uterus alpha 1 as well as beta 2 receptor are present so contraction as well as relaxation occur in pregnant uterus uh, relaxation occur and in non pregnant uterus contraction of the uterus can occur on skin pilocarpin muscle alpha 1 receptor are present and contraction of this muscle can occur on sweat glands alpha 1 receptors are present and localized secretion can occur skeletal muscle beta 2 receptor are present and increase contractility and glycogenolysis and potassium uptake can occur on liver alpha 1 and beta 2 receptors are present glycogenolysis and gluconeogenesis can occur due to uh, stimulation of alpha and beta 2 receptor causes rise in blood sugar level in the body pancreas acini are alpha isolate are beta 2 and beta alpha 1 receptors are present so decrease in secretion increase secretion of glucagon and decrease secretion of insulin fat cell alpha 1 beta 1 beta 2 and beta 3 receptors are present lipolysis and thermogenesis can occur alpha 2 receptor also inhibitory inhibition of the lipolysis now adrenergic drug classification according to indication as a pressure agent noradrenaline ephedrine dopamine phenylephrine methoxamine and mephedramine these are the pressure agent causes increase in blood pressure cardiac stimulant are adrenaline isoprenaline and dobutamine so pressure agents are act on the alpha 1 as well alpha 1 alpha 2 and beta 1 and beta 2 receptors so when alpha 1 alpha receptor stimulation causes vasoconstriction so peripheral resistance increases and beta 2 receptor causes vasodilatation occurs so fall in diastolic blood pressure now pharmacokinetic profile of adrenaline, noradrenaline and isoprenaline. It is not effective orally because it is rapidly conjugated and oxidized in the GI mucosa and liver 
rapidly inactivated by the monoamine oxidase and comptans and present in the liver. Isoprenaline metabolized by the COMT only. Absorption from the subcutaneous tissue occur relatively slowly because of the vasoconstriction. Absorption is more rapid after intramuscular and intravenous injection. Only small amount of appear in the urine. In pure chromocytoma, large amount of the epinephrine, uh, norepinephrine and their metabolites excreted in urine. Dose of the uh, adrenaline is for the uh, systemic action is 0.2 to 0.5 milligram per subcutaneously intramuscular action lasts for half to 2 hour. Noradrenaline uh, is administered only by slow IV infusion 2 to 4 microgram per minute and isoprenaline 20 milligram sublingually 1 to 2 milligram intramuscularly and 5 to 10 microgram per minute IV infusion action is last for 1 to 3 hours. Now, adverse effect and contraindications of the adrenaline, noradrenaline and isoprenaline. Uh, cerebral hemorrhage for, uh, from the sharp rise in blood pressure. So, it is contraindicated in cerebral hemorrhage, cardiac arrhythmia causes it already increases the heart rate. So, it should be avoided in cardiac arrhythmia. Increase cardiac output and contractility and coronary insufficiency. So, it is avoided in angina and arrhythmia. Restlessness, throbbing headache, tremor. Necrosis and sloughing at the site of intravenous injection due to extravasation of the drug due to norepinephrine. Greater elevation of the blood pressure with norepinephrine and reduction of the blood flow to the organs such as kidney and intestine. Therapeutic uses of adrenaline and noradrenaline. It is vascular uses are shock, acute hypotension, hemorrhagic shock. Volume depletion like severe diarrhea, vomiting, burn, cardiogenic shock like myocardial infarction, arrhythmia, etc. Anaphylactic shock and neurogenic shock in trauma, drug overdose or septic gram negative bacteremia or severe infection. These all are vascular cause of the adrenaline. So now allergic reaction like anaphylaxis. Manifestation of the severe acute hypersensitivity reaction from food uh, or bee sting or drug allergy. Subcutaneous injection of epinephrine rapidly relieve the itching and swelling of the lip, eyelid and tongue. Intramuscular route is preferred in anaphylactic shock as absorption is poor after subcutaneous injection. Due to severe vasoconstriction, it is uh, uh, poor absorption of the from the subcutaneous lip. In some patient, careful and terminous infusion have been prompt cardiovascular effect. Dose of the adrenaline is 0.3 to 0.5 ml of 1 is to 1000 solution. In bronchial asthma, epinephrine causes bronchodilatation due to beta 2 receptor and uh, decongestion of the bronchial mucosa due to alpha receptor. Epinephrine has striking therapeutic effect due to physiological antagonism of the uh, substance that are released during the bronchoconstriction in asthma. It inhibits antigen induced release of inflammatory inhibitor from the mast cell due to beta 2 receptor and dose is the 0.3 to 0.5 ml of 1 is to 1000 solution subcutaneously. Cardiac, causes, cardiac uses are in cardiac arrest, uh, drowning, electric, uh, electrification, stroke Adam syndrome and other causes. Intravenous administration is justified in the setting with external cardiac massage. To control bleeding, to control bleeding is in epistaxis and ENT surgery. Use as a local spray a topical hemostasis agent on the bleeding surface such as in the mouth or in bleeding peptic pulse during the endoscopy of the stomach and duodenum. To prolong the duration of action of the local anesthetic substance, Adrenaline 1 is to 2 leg to 1 is to 80,000 infiltration, now block and spinal anesthesia. Retard the systemic absorption by local site by vasoconstriction and duration of local anesthetic uh, substance uh, action uh, prolonged. Systemic toxicity is decreased and local bleeding is minimized by vasoconstriction and subcutaneous or intradermal with local anesthetic agent can be given. 
contraindication of adrenaline in hyperthyroidism just more uh, responsive to adrenaline angina and hypertension it should be avoided in this condition because it precipitated angina and hypertension interaction tricyclic antidepressant prevent the reuptake of adrenaline halothen group of the cases agent increase sensitivity of myocardium towards the adrenaline mao inhibitor metabolism is hampered so increase the concentration of adrenaline at the site of the reaction now second substance is the dopamine endogenous catecholamine precursor of norepinephrine and epinephrine dopamine a dopaminergic receptor are d1 and d2 and adrenergic receptor alpha and b1 vitamin agonist it also important neurotransmitter in cns but parenterally given does not cause blood barrier effect on cardiovascular system intravenous up to 2 to 5 microgram per kg per minute dopamine causes stimulation of d1 receptor and causes dilatation of the renal vessel increased gfr and renal blood flow and excretion of the sodium it can be given in the cardiogenic shock iv up to 5 to 10 microgram per kg per minute also stimulate d1 as well as beta 1 receptor causes increased cardiac output and vasodilatation occur due to d1 third dose is the more than 10 microgram per kg per minute vaso constriction due to alpha receptor and beneficial low down effect and nullify the response now therapeutic uses of the dopamine cardiogenic shock from the myocardial infarction septic shock trauma and surgery in the treatment of cardiogenic shock renal failure and liver failure low cardiac output with compromise renal function the con uh, content of the ampule is 40 mg per ml diluted into 100 ml of the 5% dextrose or 0.9% thermal saline so concentration of the 400 mg per ml is given at the rate of 5 to 10 mg per kg per minute now adverse drug reaction of the dopamine are nausea vomiting tachycardia ectopic bit uh, hypertension in high dose and cardiac arrhythmia can occur now the vitamin the vitamin is act only on the beta adrenergic receptor increase the force of conduction due to stimulation of the beta 1 receptor and increase the cardiac output without significant change in the peripheral resistance and blood pressure so dopamine act on uh, d1 d2 beta 1 and alpha 1 receptor when the vitamin act on only beta 1 receptors therapeutic uses of the dopamine are heart failure associated with myocardial infarction surgery and trauma for short term management of chf dopamine can be used the dose of the dopamine is the 2 to 5 microgram per kg per minute iv infusion ephedrine is a alkaloid obtained from the ephedra vulgaris mainly act Uh, indirectly, indirectly as well as directly in the alpha as well as beta receptor. Repeated injection produces tachyphylaxis, primarily because of the neuronal pool of the norepinephrine available for displacement is small. Its uh, resistance to monoamine oxidase enzyme, so it is orally effective, and uh, it is about 100 times less potent than adrenaline, but longer acting for 4 to 6 hours. Ephedrine crosses to the blood brain barrier and causes stimulation of the CNS, but central peripheral activity ratio is lower than the amphetamine. Ephedrine can be used for a variety of the purpose like length of the, uh, but uh, its lack of selectivity and efficacy is low. So it is uh, nowadays uh, uh, used in now restricted that of the mild chronic bronchial asthma and. for the hypotension during spinal anesthesia occasionally for the postural hypotension the dose of the ephedrine is 15 to 16 mg 3 grams a day now bronchodilators bronchodilators are isoprenaline because it act on beta 1 as well as beta 2 receptor salbutamol is the uh, beta 2 agonist the betaline also act on the beta 2 receptor salmeterol formeterol and uh, bambuterol all these drug are act on the beta 2 receptor so bronchodilator the x selective to beta 2 agonist cause bronchodilatation occur this drug can be used by the inhaler for the local and quick action of the drug 
Advantage is reduced side effect and quick action as it reaches directly to the bronchial tree. And disadvantage is only tremor. Now nasal decongestants are xylometazolim, oxymetazolim, nefazolim, phenylephrine and pseudoephrine. All these drugs act on the alpha 1 receptor. These are selective alpha 1 agonists which with negligible beta receptor. Nefazolim, xylometazolim and oxymetazolim. This on the topical application as diluted solution 0.05 to 0.1% produce vasoconstriction in nasal mucosa which primarily express alpha receptor. Phenylephrine and pseudoephrine. It can be taken as oral active with longer duration of action 4 to 6 hours. It is orally administered nasal decongestant. Phenylephrine is uh, a mitosis when cycloplegia is not required only for uh, mitosis. Phenylephrine can be used. Phenylephrine tend to reduce intraocular tension by constriction, constricting ciliary body blood vessels. Adverse drug reaction of the nasal decongestants are atropic rhinitis due to local application. Uh, uh, anosmia can develop due to persistent vasoconstriction, CNS depression, rise in blood pressure. Nasal decongestant should be used cautiously in hypertensive and in those receiving mon um, monomine oxidase inhibitor. So, alpha 1 receptor causes vasoconstriction and it can cause rise in blood pressure and it develops anosmia due to persistent vasoconstriction. Now, CNS stimulants are amphetamine, dexamphetamine, methamphetamine, and methylphenidate. These all are CNS stimulants. So, this synthetic compound orally active with directly long duration of action is the 4 to 6 hour. They exert potent CNS stimulant and weaker peripheral cardiovascular actions. The central action of amphetamine are largely mediated by release of norepinephrine from adrenergic neuron in the brain. Amphetamine is indirectly acting drug which enter to the neuron through the norepinephrine transporter and in the vesicle by vesicular monoamine transporter and which displaces norepinephrine from the vesicle and it released from the neuron to the synaptic cleft by exchange diffusion if, uh, exchange diffusion not uh, if not required uh, exocytosis only it is released by the exchange diffusion and it act on the adrenergic receptors now central action of the amphetamines are alertness, increased concentration, attention span and postponement of the sleep. Euphoria can occur due to amphetamine, talkativeness, increased work capacity, fatigue, allayed, athlete performances improved temporarily followed by deterioration can occur in the performance. The drug included in the top test because it increased the performance of the athletes. Uh, they have weak anticonvulsant, analgesic, and antimatic activity. In attention deficit hyperkinetic disorder to calm down the hyperkinetic children and in narcolepsy sleep occurring in fit, it is inadequate control by the amphetamine. So these are the various uses of the amphetamine. Now, adverse drug reaction of the amphetamine. This drug is uh, abuse drug and abuse are generally teenager and kick seeking um, kids. Uh, kick with is obtained on the rapid IV injection. High doses produce euphoria, restlessness, insomnia, aggression, panic attack, and marked excitement, and which may progress into mental confusion, delirium, hallucination, and acute psychotic state. So, peripheral component of toxicity include rise in blood pressure, palpitation, arrhythmia, vomiting, abdominal cramp and vascular prolapse can occur and ultimately death can occur. So, treatment of amphetamine toxicity include administration of uh, chlorpromazine which is anticholinergic drug which produces both central as well as peripheral alpha adrenergic effect. Now, vitreal relaxant are tetrodyl. Isosoprene, 
salbutamol and tamotalin. These all drug causes muscle relaxation of the uterus. So isoprene is the or an oral effective long-acting beta 2 agonist stimulant directly smooth muscle relaxant property and used as a uterine relaxant of the threatened abortion and dysmenorrhea indicated in the peripheral vascular diseases and uh, efficacy is poor side effect are nausea tachycardia flushing hypotension dizziness and tremor can occur due to effect on the beta 2 receptor and dose is 5 to 10 mg orally or intravascularly for 4 to 6 hours. Retrotil also uh, relaxation of the uterine muscle and fusion it can be given IV infusion has been successfully used for the post form the level. Maternal morbidity and mortality may be increased due to its cardiac metabolic action and incident of the pulmonary edema. Now, anorectic agent are amphetamine, fenfluramine, and sibutramine. These all drugs can be used as anorectic agent or to reduce the weight. So, though amphetamine suppresses the appetite, it also uses an anorectic agent. All of these act by the releasing or reverse transmission by the inhibiting the reuptake of norepinephrine, dopamine, or 5HD. They thus enhance the monoaminergic uh, transmission in the brain. So, noradrenergic agent are fenteramine, seroprenergic agent are fenfluramine, were extensively used by the slimming center, echocardiography abnormalities, valvular defect or pulmonary hypertension and sudden death were related to their use now when in the most of the countries. So, serotonergic agenda, benfluramine are banned most of the country. Noradrenergic and serotonergic agents are sibutramine. Cardio cardiovascular event can occur and death are reported due to sibutramine. So, it is also not used. Currently, no sympathomimetic anorectic drug is approved for Anorectic agent. Thank you for listening and watching the video.